Hello, in this video I'm going to show you why this Google Pixel tablet is better than most Android tablets you can buy right now. As you can see here, I have got premium Samsung Tab S9, budget the Honor Pad X9, and then Google Pixel tablet in the middle. All of them, great screens, great for watching media, not a problem. But that's just it. I have an Android tablet, and that's all I really use them for. They can never replace a Windows PC or laptop. So it's mostly media what I'm using it for. Rarely do I play games on them. And when you look at the specs here on the Tab S9, it's a very powerful machine. It scores well on, on benchmark results. And then we have the budget tablet, the Honor X9. Lesser specs. Score not great, but good enough. And then you have the Google Pixel tablet here. It's not Samsung S Tab specs, but it is good enough for what it's used for or for what I use it for. And this here is what I think makes a difference from any other tab out there. I know Amazon have theirs, but purely running Android is this. This little dock that you can just put on, it charges it permanently, takes it up at 90%, so it doesn't overcharge it. And you've got it there all day. Now with the other tabs, they'll sit in a drawer when I want to use them get them out no charge on them have to charge them this is always here I can have it next to when I'm working and the uses just using it as it is it's got a, like a hub mode in the settings where you can use it for different scenarios where you want to set up it's very similar to the Google Nest hub where you can check any smart apps or controls that you're using in the house, you can switch them on and off just at the touch of the button, but you can also use it to have photographs. I'm using it here just for the clock. And I can just set it as a screensaver to run. After a certain time, the screen will just go off. And it's, I've got the clock on. I could have a, I can see it slideshow of pictures. Also, the tablet has a magnetic connector on the back or clicks onto the dock. But you can also use this if you were a stainless steel fridge, freezer or anything else stainless steel. You could watch media in your kitchen. Just sticks on. Plus, I can also use this as as a second monitor. This is just one of the, you could use any Android tablet, yes, but with it being on its dock, sitting next to his on charge and to do it you can use an app space desk viewer it's free on android and you can also download on your pc and now i have a wireless monitor now a second screen but it's wireless it runs on your network and i have now two screens for working or watching media whilst playing a game or browsing the internet. So the uses are all there, but it doesn't stop there. One thing I am doing at the moment is setting a server up in my house. I'm using Proxmox on a mini PC. That's all linked up on my network. Hoping to get Home Assistant Plex server running on it. I will have a video coming out soon showing you how I'm doing with this. But I was looking into getting like a control panel or a touchscreen wall mounted Android tablet so I could control everything on Home Assistant once it's all set up. But this tablet, the Google, does that for us and I don't have it attached to the wall. I can use it not using Home Assistant, still got all the functions of the tablet and also by adding an Android app called Chaos Browser would give me 
a fully functional control panel for Home Assistant. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.